Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. My company is Crystal Age Technology Screens. We're going to be doing a demonstration. This is a promo demonstration, just showing you exactly without the uh, stream, because stream sometimes makes the video a little bit more um, like hard to watch. But I'm going to show you right here. So this is a tablecloth that I was going to use to cover my table upstairs. I decided to go with the white one. Long story short, pretty much that's basically about it. But this basically, when looking at the product, I was thinking that this passes for Crow's product. It looks exactly like some of his screen paint products. So we gave the uh, tablecloth the nickname, the Raven Cinema Screen 2.0. Uh, it doesn't have 2.0, but that's what we named it. And this surface right here is weatherproof. Like I said, beads off, water beads off of it. This is a tablecloth. It's stretchable. As you can see, it stretched nice to the frame. And then on top of that, as I said before, it's, it's affordable. Way more affordable than Crow's products. Crow's products will cost you around $80 on eBay with $20 shipping, $20.40 for shipping. And then on his website, around $89 with free shipping. But still, at the end of the day, you can get a surface from this and that is actually 60 inches at 120 inches. I'm sorry, I'm saying 59 is 120 inches. And that would cost you around $21. I just ordered one for myself. So, the bit against our screens for demonstrations because we couldn't use for anything else over here. But also, to I'm showing you right here, we're doing a ultra short throw demonstration. This is my NEC projector UM UM351W. This is about a hundred and thirty dollar, hundred and thirty nine dollar projector. Not going to cost you a lot of money. We don't have to have an expensive projector to make our screens look amazing. But I'm going to show you right here that at the end of the day, if this is what you want. As I said before, this product could never hold up to any of the technology we have over here. But if this is something that you want, at the end of the day, you need a great screen. At the end of the day, you don't have to spend $80 for a product that basically can't back itself up next to screen paint, black and white products, next to uh, the Raven itself. So let's get this started. Let's show you the demonstration. We're going to do this with lights out, of course, because usually that's the only way you're going to be able to pick up on these screens. As I said before, a lot of these screen paint mixes, like, like Crow makes, uh, at the end of the day, you have to be in the dark because the screen's going to have an issue pulling those contrast levels. All right, just drop everything nice and low. Let's get our lights up and let's start. At the end of the day, I'm going to show you how those of you that are into these gray screens, how you can save some money. to be fair when we first found out about this screen we sent crow 1176 multiple links where you can actually purchase the products to do his own tests and own reviews we also sent them links on basically screen paint black and white screen paint products he refused to do all of them so at the end of the day why would you pay somebody uh 80 to 90 80 to uh, uh 80 80 sorry 80 to 89 dollars for a product that hasn't been properly tested we can just do it with the raven 2.0 so here's the raven 2.0 ultra short throw demonstration if you hear a lot of noise over top of me that's my cat racing back and forth now the screen we have in the middle is the uv mix the screens we have on each side, this side is the personal mix, and over here we have the Metallica mix. You're able to match at least, well, the UV mix matches a little bit, but like I said, it's too dark, the white levels suffer really bad, and it pulls up a very dirty image, where the personal mix and the Metallica mix blend right into the screen. So, truthfully, at the end of the day, you're getting two screen paints out of this technology for the price of one. See how it outperforms the UV mix, even if it's just way too dark. Yeah, we need to the demonstration here. The new LG Core Zero All in One Power. 
So yes, so if you've been asking me about the Raven 2.0, is it basically ultra short though compatible? Yes, it is ultra short though compatible. It will work with an ultra short though projector. You know, to spend the money for two to three thousand dollars for a uh, P2, it's overpriced, expensive projector. At the end of the day, I keep telling people that when he says quality, at the end of the day, you have to understand that the quality is coming from the projector, not the screen paint. If he were to swap that out with a 720p projector, he wouldn't get the same results as he would get from the P2. Now, since he has not been able to back up any of his products next to black and white paint, and especially not next to the Raven, as I said before, we don't consider this person to be a person that you should be basically giving credit cards or personal information to because at the end of the day, he will not back his products. And we can do this with a tablecloth. Keep in mind, the Raven 2.0 is a tablecloth from Amazon. Football highlights. Getting us on YouTube. So if I was a sneakerhead, cashing in on that sweet employee discount, I could still get the packing place? Yep. State Farm has rates that fit any budget. Nice. My good neighbor. State Farm is there. Call or click to get both. Rates right, coming up too dirty, as you can see. Stretch run because he's got that confidence and belief in what they're doing. Hudson out again. They're all pro center. Of course, DeAndre Hopkins out as well. Both showing pressure and bringing it. They beat it with Hurts and a first down for the Cardinals. It's just the maturity level that you saw that he really stepped into that role of being a safe. And you see, sports shows are running extremely well. Tron Legacy. Getting us on YouTube. So the Raven 2.0, we call it the Raven, Raven Cinema Screen 2.0. That's the name we gave, for, gave to it. It's just a basic tablecloth. It's just this particular tablecloth matches extremely well to its products. And as you can see, number one, you're going to save money. It's $21 for the biggest size that is 60 by 120. So you're definitely going to save money compared to his products costing you $80. It is also sure though compatible. It can be used in a lit environment somewhat. Still going to have the same issue as this product washing out a little bit. It is stretchable. We're able to stretch it to the frame with no problem whatsoever. It is weatherproof because it water, actually it tells you that it's weatherproof because water beads off of it. So at the end of the day, like I said, it does much more and costs much less. And you get a bigger size. Four K demonstrations. Getting us on YouTube. Let's see if we can get something else in here. Now, it's telling you, see how the UV mix pulls the contrast levels? When it comes to this bright, beautiful, vivid colors, it comes out too dark, too dirty. That's the problem with the UV mix. Now, you can see the personal, personal and Metallica, they are matching the uh, screens perfectly. Well, actually, it's matching the, um, the Raven with no problem. And the Raven's matching the Metallica and Personal with no problem. I've showed you this projector reason in the demonstration right here. And the surface we're using 
is our Raven 2.0. And how dark the, the UV is very dark. Some ways it helps, some days it doesn't. Skyworth food demonstration. Getting that from YouTube. Skyworth food demonstration. Getting that from YouTube. This is where the UV mix has the most problem, being it produces white levels next to the Raven. Get a little closer. This is showing how amazing the Raven matches Crow's Metallica and Personal Mix. And I'm pretty sure it'll match the rest of it with no problem. And you can see the UV mix is just pointing up a very dark image. go. Whether it's an antique car or a covered bridge, when you can actually see the craft. So as you can see, there's no difference. So for the only UV mix, the UV mix puts a little darker contrast, but at the end of the day, it comes up with a dirty image when it comes to bright images and white levels. But as you can see with this personal mix and Metallica mix, they blend in with no problem whatsoever. And so the Raven 2.0 Blackout Club is ultra short to compatible and matches with Crow's products with no problem whatsoever. And as you can see, the image is pulling a beautiful image with no problem whatsoever. And there's Crow's screen up close, right here. Let's get this a little over. There we go, a little bit of room in here between these two. There we go, that's better. So now you can see up close how well it matches into the Raven 2.0. And this is a tablecloth projection screen. And then right there, that's where you have Crow's um, UV mix, as you can see, very dark. And as for its Metallica mix, it blends in very nicely. 
into the screen using the ultra short throw projector. At the end of the day, we didn't have to spend the money for expensive projector. We just used our basic 720p XGA projector and we were able to perform the exact same thing Crow can do in his demonstrations. But at the end of the day, our product, that's not our product, the product we're showing you is much cheaper. I'll put a link at the bottom. We can get the surface for the, uh, the Raven 2.0 for around $21 for that huge massive surface. All right, thank you for your time. I have to go and God bless.